So how did Tracy take it when you said we couldn't make the party? Uh, wasn't even going to be a party. Such a flop. What's all this? So I'm uh, making you breakfast. It's getting to you. I just wanted to do something nice for you, that's all. What for? Well, you know, you've been very busy organising the wedding and what have you. I uh, just wanted to say thank you. It's only fair, isn't it? You're paying for it. Anyway, I thought we were getting bored with it all. Me, honey. Oh, come on, Steve. I think your mind's been somewhere else. Oh. Well, you know, I uh, may have had the occasional whinge, but um, for me, this day can't come soon enough. No, Steve, forget it. What? What? Baby, we said last night was the last night we're doing it for the wedding. Very good, though, isn't it? Yeah. But we're not caving in now. <laughs> well, OK. If you think it's going to make the day more special, then I'm with you. But I uh, just want everything to be perfect. Which it will be, because um, I'm marrying you. Oh, darling, I nearly forgot about this for you. Thought you might see something suitable. Hmm. What's this? Uh, property guide. Yeah, I don't think they deliver around here. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, it's no good to you, though. It's in Bury. Well, I could get a car. Well, if you don't mind sitting in traffic, you know what it's like in the morning. Then I'll set off earlier, won't I? How much earlier? Yeah, hey, oh, come on. It's not the other side of the moon, Bera. <laughs> well, if you don't mind Maria coming in late, keeping customers waiting. Well, she could come with me, couldn't she? And I start before her, so it's not a problem. Relax, Mum. It's too expensive, anyway. Can I keep hold of this? Yes, of course, sweetheart. I brought it for you. Cheers, Grant. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, love. Bye-bye. What's the matter? Nothing. I just don't see the point in Nick moving away when his work's around here. Yes, and I know. I don't want him to think I'm pushing him to stay on the doorstep. Yeah, well, you just keep telling yourself, wherever he lands up, it's got to be closer than Canada. Hey. Fine. So, morning after, night before, eh? Except for there was no night before, was there? There's no party, that's for sure. Well, you certainly had a grand time. You had a good old rant about Steve and Karen. I know what I said, Kieran. And? And what makes you think I didn't mean it? Hello, Kieran. I was saying to Tracy, it was very good of you to come round last night. Oh, all right, Granny. You don't need to make it sound any sadder than it was. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, maybe. Don't let my one do we? I take it this mood is down to the baby. No, you're right, Gran. I'm not in a good mood. So just say what you want to say, yeah? You wait. When that child's in your arms, everything could change. No, that's one thing I can promise you. Won't change anything at all. Right. It's time we had a man to man about you and Fizz. There is no me and Fizz. Oh, stop your bleating, lad. I've blown it, Les. She thinks I'm a right idiot now. Wrong. She's there for the taking. You've just got to work out what makes her tick. Because do you know where she is now? She'll be at work. I mean, in her head. She's in the comfort zone. She knows she can have you back whenever she wants. You have to make her realise it's make your mind up time. How? Oh. Stop hanging on her every word. But what if she doesn't notice? She will. Softly, softly, catch your monkey. It's a classic, the old one too. I don't get it. One, you give her the cold shoulder. Two, when she's losing hope, you steam in and save the day. Have you tried this with Janice? What's she got to do without? I just want to know if it's going to work or not. No offence, Les. Never mind, Janice. If you want to understand women, look at the mother. And am I not hit a bullseye there? I suppose. Well, there you go, lad. The job's a good one. I don't remember Baldwin saying we could bring games. Oh, no, the, the jigsaws. Me and Roy are having a clear out. We like to do them when we close up the cap at night, and one just led to another. Whoa, too much information, Ailey. <laughs> um, I've got tropical birds, York Minster, sporting dogs. I thought I'd give you a first refusal, or else I'd just have to charity shop. I'm trying to give them up, love. Um, do they not have sentimental value? Well, we've no time for sentiments on you. Not wait baby's room to prepare. Oh, he's nearly finished decorating. Ah! <laughs> I bet you wish your Steve were this excited about the wedding. He is actually, Janice. He's dead he excited. Okay. Looks like he's going guillotine. No, he's telling me this morning. Can't wait tomorrow, me again. Blimey! What have you been slipping him? Well, it seems like he's up to no good if you ask me. You've taken a notice. Hey, Ashley. 
still think I've got a chance with Fizz? Never say die, lad. You're only saying that because you feel sorry for me. No, you see then, that's comfort eating. That's because you're feeling sorry for yourself. And being at odds with your best mate isn't helping matters, is it? Kirk's no mate of mine. Look, this is where you've got it all to cock, isn't it? Kirk is your old pal. I'm telling you, in fact, if Kirk was a female, there'd be no need for Piz. Now, will you better the hatchet, will you, for crying out loud? If Kurt was a female, it'd be Maria. Oh, dear. Hiya, uh, what are you reading? Mm, well, listen, who needs reading when a picture speaks a thousand words? Mm, Morocco. Mm. What do you think? You on the terrace and me wandering through in silken robes? Are you taking me away? Would you like? Great. Yeah. Well, but who's going to look after the shop whilst Anita's away? So I can do extra. Whatever I can fit around the hospital. Well, I'll get packing. Uh, no, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, the thing with Todd is, is he's got his hospital head and his corner shop Put head. him in charge. Well, yeah, Let's go. One man, two heads. Great for stacking shelves, not so good for business. So the bottom line is, we can't go anywhere until Sunita gets back. Well, I prefer the way I said it. Oh, hiya. I think I expect to see you. I've uh, borrowed this from Martin. Is he about? Oh, no, he's on days. Oh, yeah, of course he is. Well, I won't keep you. Oh, well, no, you don't have to go. I mean, I'm just having a late lunch break. Well, mind a cup of tea if it's going. Yeah, of course. So you're busy? Well, this essay's got to be in tomorrow. Uh, what are you doing? Feeling the telly to see if it's warm. Oh, I do not do daytime telly. This is the first time I have stopped all day, thank you. So what's your essay on? <sighs> the endocrine system. I get all the diabetes stuff, obviously. Yeah, but that's the easy bit. Get you! Come on, then. Explain the other bits I need to know. Bung us then, will you? Are you, uh, sure you don't mind doing this? Not a problem. Oh, York Minster. Can I put a bid in early doors? Oh, take it. You're welcome to it. Mm, much obliged. Ailey, I know what you think. But if I go for one, I'm just worried that I'll not stop thinking about the one that I did in two. I hope you're still going on about these jigsaws. No, Kirk and Tyrone. Oh. Blame an egg face. They're going to lose interest if you don't get your act together. I did say that, didn't I? Oh, it must be a difficult decision to make. Hey, Lee. She's having the time of her life. Uh, Janice, I'm not. It's harder than I expected. I reckon you've got it all the wrong way around. Oh, go on. Well, when's the last time one of them splashed out on you? I know where this is going. Yeah, like me and Steve. Well, look what he's done for me with this wedding. Only cos she'd have led him a dog's life if he hadn't. No, I think you're fine cos he loves me, Janice. Trust me. Is this serious? Put the money where the mouth is. Tracy, Kieran's here to see you. Now, how about some coffee with a nip of Irish cream? That's very kind of you, but on Gran, thanks, Blanche. We'll be fine, Gran. Just leave us to it, eh? Now, you make yourself at home. Thanks. So, come on. How do you propose to wreck this wedding? I'm all ears. I think of something. More to the point. Why? I'd have thought even you could work that one out. <sighs> you think you're going to be able to make Steve realise that he's with the wrong woman? Hey, come on. Well, maybe not. But I'm going to make Karen realise she's with the wrong man. Are you listening to yourself? You asked me. Yeah, and it sounds more like a lot of jealousy and hot air than anything else. Oh, so what are you saying? You had a row with Roy Cropper for a penny bet. So let me put it into a language that you'll understand. Tupin says you couldn't stop this wedding even if you tried. Yeah. Well, this will. So what, it's hormones now that's making you into a conniving bitch? <laughs> is that what you're saying? This belly is full of Steve McDonald's baby. Yeah, that's right. Steve's the dad. And when Karen finds out, I'd say that all bets are off. All right, well, this one is perfect for us. Look, floor-to-ceiling windows, bedroom on the mezzanine. Look, Maria, why don't you speak a bit louder? Because the people in the rovers can't quite hear you. What's your problem? Nothing. Good. I thought Audrey told you to go and clean the store cupboard anyway. I'm going. Green eyed monster or what? Right. What's this? Ah, yes. <clears throat> I was just returning from the wholesalers when I spotted this outside the second hand store. Very fortuitous. I was just saying, I used to see these as a lad coming out of the big houses across from the park. Ideal for the new arrival, don't you think? 
Oh, yeah, I dare say the baby will find it ideal, but he or she won't have to lug it upstairs to where we live. There'll be no lugging involved. We can keep it downstairs. Every last bolt turned on a British lathe by a British engineer, I bet. There's someone to ponder. Yes, yes, I grant you. But nostalgia was not the selling point. Studies show that a baby facing the parent develops cognitive skills much faster than one facing away, as they do in, in some modern conveyances. Right, be practical. We need something lightweight and portable. At qualities that come with a hefty price tag, whereas this was very reasonable. You take a baby out for a walk in a pramer to get it to go to sleep. That, that is one of the reasons, yes. Yes, well, it's not going to get much sleep, is it, Mummy? Once we've gone through the song and dance of lifting it out of this thing and taking it upstairs. I'll try and exchange it. Thank you. But we will have to try and tighten our belts because we are slaves to one particular practicality. Paying Tracy on the day of reckoning. Right. We have sorted out a loan. Will you stop worrying? Lots of new parents have to struggle, but they manage, and so will we. You do anything to spoil that wedding. And everybody around here is going to hate your guts. Oh, as opposed to what, exactly? Tracy. The way they treat you at the moment is like Mother Teresa compared to the flack you'll get for this. Yeah, well, I'm doing it as a mate, aren't I? A mate to Karen. <laughs> yeah, right. But I don't want to get involved. I've learned my lesson from Peter and Shelley. Oh, excuse me. You covered for Peter. What I am doing is the exact opposite. Do you think that Karen wants to be kept in the dark about this? OK. You're all hurt. I, I still don't want to know, OK? Maya. Good news. Wait, let me guess. Sunita's so given you a date for coming back, and we're flying out to Morocco the following day? Oh, close, but no cigar. No, no, no. How about you and me and another lucky couple? Top-notch tickets to go and see. Wait for it. A badly drawn boy! What made you think I was a fan? Hmm? Well, I thought everyone liked it. And why four tickets? Um, I've got this really fantastic relationship with the Wines and Spirits Geezer. <sighs> Freebie, I'm overcome. Ah, people in the know will kill for these tickets. Talk, give me some backup here. Sad is really into him. You see? Dev, hmm. if it's going to work between us, mm -hmm. you're really going to have to learn to take a hint. Well, I, I want in tin. Do you want four free tickets or not? Well, yeah. Yeah, sad to be made up. Oh, there we go then. You said you wanted to thank Todd for his hard work while Sunita's been away. I mean, that's what freebies are for, isn't it? Little treats to give to your staff. Enjoy. Look at him. The smarmy two-faced get. You just remember, son, you're the bigger man. Show him what you made of. I can if you can. As the women, they come and go with your mates. Have a light. You've not got many mates. Mind you, I've got Vera. Yes, and nobody to commiserate with me. Right. Here, I need your pocket. Well. Yes, Tyrone. Are you having, Kirk? Oh, me having. Nothing off you. You do right, son. Now, you wouldn't be kicking off, would you, boys? Look, I don't want any aggro. Just have a pint, eh? Les? Well, it is his money. Even if he's a lousy backstabber. Four pints, please, Shelley. Okay. Listen, mate, we're both in the same boat and it's well sunk. Ooh. Someone won't be forking out for the drinks tonight. Janice, it's not easy being torn. Can't string them along forever. Well, if they start scrapping over you, I'm not holding the courts, right? Well, you're gonna have that. Suppose so. Mates. Suppose so. Cheers. Cheers. Well, it looks like they might have had enough of your games later. It seems like they've taken the decision out of your hands. Right, Audrey. Oh, hello, love. Didn't it get anywhere with the flat, Auntie? Oh, well, it's like he says, isn't it? Somewhere out there's our perfect place. It's just going to take us some time to find it, I think. Yes. Anyway, it's good that you're going to look further afield. Nick, we're talking about Berry. Berry? Mm. Oh, no, I don't think so. We're looking at a place in the Keys. Keys? Yeah. Oh, isn't it a bit dear, the Keys? Yeah, well, we're both earning and other people do it. Why shouldn't we? Well, I mean, it's more businessmen and managers, isn't it? Yeah, but Nick is a businessman and a manager. We're not settling for second best, Audrey. No, right. Well, good luck. Uh, see you tomorrow. See ya. So, uh, anyway, we'll be in the Rovers later. Might see you in there. Yeah, you might. Hey, baby. You know, she's such an archie cow, just cos that party of hers was a no-go. 
I mean, get a life. <laughs> Could you be didn't go then, eh? Yeah, I mean, I said sorry to her. I mean, I bent over backwards. At least my life isn't as sad as hers, though, eh? <sighs> Listen, honey, I'm pooped. Uh, why don't we have a night in? No, we can't. Why not? Because we'll end up watching the TV. So? So? We're curled up on the sofa. I'd start getting a bit frisker. Well, look, I think this abstinence thing's a waste of time anyway, cos, uh, we're gonna have a great wedding night, whatever happens. Yeah, I know, but can you imagine if we can just do this? It'd be the best ever. Yeah, I suppose so. Right, well, Rovers it is then. True enough what they say. If you can't have something, you can't get it out of your head, can you? No hard feelings, eh? Nah. That's the last time we ever let a woman come between us. Yep. Next time we'll say, no, you can't, because we're mates. Yes, please. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get these, uh, and I want a pint for this and a pint for jam as well. Yeah. Being caring and all. Have you and Tracy had a father now? Why? She's just been saying some strange things, that's all. Like what? A word to the worst. I'd watch her. This is what I was scared of happening. We've not even looked at her. We haven't listened to a word I've said, have you? Karen, it's a bit late for your tricks now. Is it ever going? Well, the thing is, Fizz, like I was saying to Steve, it's all well and good asking me to marry you, but where's my engagement ring? Yeah, well, you got one in the end, didn't you, Karen? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. That's why I knew it was genuine. And that's why I said yeah. Oh, yeah, well, if someone got me a ring like that, I'd say yeah and all. Fizz, I will get you a wicked ring. Calm down. Playing close to your chest, lad. Whatever you do, don't show it with your hand. I'll get you one and all. You know, my mouth's better than yours. Oh, flame it, Nora. I can't help it. I love her. Yeah, well, I love her more. Prove it. Is this yours? The radio ad? Uh, Martin's. He likes to keep up. Billy Bragg? Uh, yeah, that's mine. My dad's influence. You were trying to wean me off take that with some real music. Oh, successful then. Mrs. Four Robbie Williams CD. Uh, yeah. Badly drawn boy, is that Martin? Uh, no, that is mine. Uh, Flaming Ellis at the time. Just gone six. But I had a class at four. <laughs> Don't laugh. This is all you're doing, this is. Well, you got your essay done, didn't you? Oh, yeah, thanks for that. So, what is it with nurses and biscuits? What are you getting narky for? Because you're not allowed them. <laughs> Thanks. That'll get you promoted, being sensitive to a patient's needs. All right. Hiya. Hiya. All right, Carl. I just brought your book back. Oh, good. Right. Not up for a pint, are you? Seeing as you're here. I can't. I'll meet my mates in the feathers. All right, fair enough. Cheers, Carl. See ya. All right, see you then. Hey. Man is a star. I finally got my essay done, thanks to him. All right. I thought he'd just pop round. Ah, did he, Eck? He's been here for hours. I even missed a lesson that I should have gone to. I totally didn't realise how late it was. <laughs> anyway, if you still fancy that pint, we can go to Rovers later on. All right. Hey, it's all been coming out about you declaring your true feelings. <laughs> Not going to stick up for yourself? Well, I'm the groom, aren't I? I'm over the moon. See? Both of us are, like I was saying. So, uh, have you been practising your wifely duties, then? Well, um, no, as it happens with... What? Come on. Well, we're going to save ourselves for the wedding night, aren't we, baby? <laughs> you what? Hey, have you heard this? What, you're holding out on him? <laughs> well, it's a mutual thing, jealous. <laughs> or not, as the case may be. <laughs> oh, is that why you've been a bit edgy, love? Beyond short rations. Oh. <laughs> you know what he needs to take his mind off it, don't you? One of Ailey's jigsaw. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, say what you like, because between now and the wedding day, this time is ours, unless it's going to get in the way of that. Mm -mm. I'll drink to that, if you go and get them in. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be careful, you know, love. You don't want to be training him to look elsewhere. Um, vodka and orange, please. Hold the vodka. Come on up. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. We're both fine. It is all right to say that, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, it doesn't embarrass you and make you feel awkward. Listen, Steve, you don't have to worry about me coming out with this in front of Karen. I'm only going to say it when it's the two of us. One minute. Kieran, uh, say him again, please, mate. Can you take him over there, cos I've just got to pop him. It's me, you Uh, Karen, <laughs> listen. Oh, listen, uh, I know what I said before, but, uh, well, I think we should go home, have an early night. 
OK. Uh, I've just got to get Tracy to sign something. It's uh, maternity stuff. Now? Well, you know, I want to catch her while she's here. Just... I'm two minutes. Hurry up. Have a word, Tracy. What, here? Outside, please. Yeah, sure. What do you want to talk about? Now you listen to me. I don't know what you had in mind in there, but I'm having a quiet night out with Canon. And in five minutes' time, I'm going to have a quiet night in. Do you understand? What? You banging on about the baby. Am I awkward? Am I embarrassed? You know damn well what. I was being discreet. Don't play games with me, Tracy. We discussed this. I've been perfectly civil with you. I thought we came to an agreement. I don't deserve this. Yeah, we'll join the club. Steve, I thought you cared about us. I do. But I'm not allowed to tell you how your baby's oh, doing. Oh, turn it in. This has got nothing to do with the baby. We got over all that. Have you heard yourself? Look, I have tried to be nice with you. I've tried to reason with you. Just obviously not getting through, is it? No, I think what isn't getting through is the fact that I am carrying your child. Look, will you stop calling it that? And that is what it boils down to. No, I'll tell you what it boils down to, lady, is that you offered yourself on a plate. Yeah, and you rejected me. Yeah. I rejected you. Because I'm not interested, Tracy. You're just going to have to learn to deal with it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to deal with it, all right. I'll tell you exactly how I'm going to deal with it. Daddy. What's that supposed to mean? I'm going to tell everybody who the baby's father is. Starting now. With Karen. <laughs>